Hi, it's Jess here from iJessie.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So it's the 1st of June. How on earth did that happen? I just don't understand how quick this year's gone. And um, I'm on the Stamp Around UK blog hop and the theme is the new annual catalogue. So I'm going to use this artistically inked set and the artistic dies may or may not use this beautiful paper which i have turned over a new leaf with this annual catalog in that i've been using the paper so that's all i've got left of that sheet this is cut off and it's just white on that side it's just the white bits but that's the other side of it it was a beautiful sheet i will be showing you that video later in the month um so we've got gold foiling on it. That was more or less what the other side of this was, but it had um, it had bits of gold in and a little bit more of the, uh, I think it's pepper sass. Um, but yeah, beautiful paper. That one I've used, you might have seen my, my gift box that I made using that. The other side's nice too. Then we've got this one with the lovely gold bits in the centre of the flowers and in the background and um, a nice sort of watercolour effect there. Lovely little stripe, kind of hoarding that for some reason. Wow, it's just me in it. That's lovely, do like that as well and it's sort of quite a lot of the new in colours as well which I love. So I am going to try something that's been on my mind to use and it's going to involve using this stunning die, which is the one that I used on top of my gift box. So I'm going to get things prepared for it. OK, so what I did was I took a piece of basic white and I cut it into four quarters and then I die cut out of two quarters the, the flower die. I did, I did one off centre and one was sort of more centred. Um, so I've got a little bit of an idea. There's sort of a, a buy one, get one free um, sort of idea. It's in my head. So it might all go a bit peat on, but we shall see. So I've got um, a bit of um, dirty um, grid paper. So I had a couple of thoughts about this. One was to use that. And, and, and colour it um, on a bit of um, basic white and um, to sort of use it kind of as a stencil. So I want to sort of have that sort of fairly held in place. So I've got some not very adhesive sort of dots. So I'm running over the back with the dots so that they will stick down, but not permanent. So I'm going to place it in the middle there, like so. So do this idea first and see what happens. I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss because I love it. And I'm going to use my blending brushes and um, just sort of go over it and we'll see what see what happens. So what I'm going to be doing here is colouring the die cut, but I should have a nice pattern underneath. That's my idea. And then we can use the underneath in one project and then use this this die cut in another that was my thoughts so I'm kind of Kind of just going with it. I think some of these might have moved, so there might be a bit of movement, but I really don't mind. And I'm going to keep it so we've got like a bit of a non actually, no, I'm not. I was going to say I'm going to keep it so we've got a bit of an ombre effect, but I'm not. I'm going to come in 
I have to cut this down so because it's a whole quarter. So So now then, are we ready for the big reveal? So this should now just come off. And there, so it's not perfect, but it's not bad, I don't think. And then we've got this then for something else. And my thoughts were to stick it back in this bit. on top of a card possibly so those are the thoughts i am playing with okay so i'm going to get some card blanks uh, cut up ready so i've got some card blanks i've got i've got blackberry bliss so i'm sort of having a little look at how they might look on there so i'm going to trim them down to my mat size then I can really sort of see what I want to do. So I'm going to cut it all off that side so it's a bit more central. So cut it down there. Five and five eighths. And then I'm going to cut a little bit off each side, I think. So I'll cut an eighth off that side and an eighth off this side well, that's not going to work we'll just have to take a little bit less off that side I need to change my blade I've been saying that for days days Jez you've been saying it for days Okay, go over that with an emery board. Yep, just going to change my blade. There we go, fresh blades in. So, and I always sort of write down when I change the blades because, so since I got this, I have changed the blades about every six months. I think my first blade lasted much much longer and then since then it's been every six months which and considering i use mine every single day i don't think that's that's not bad at all not bad at all there we go have i done it that way i have so I wasn't sure with this if I needed a if I needed a white border to make it pop or put it on a white a white card or do it that way around. I'm thinking I might do that, but will it Leave it at this for now. So I've not done a prototype. I've just gone straight for straight for filming. So that one on there like that. I've gone round with an emery board, get fluffy bits off. And then so I'll stick that in there quite like that. And then I thought it's a bit stark, the contrast of the white. So I wanted to soften that a bit. So I thought I'm going to get Quiet Meadow out, my other favourite. Well, it probably is my favourite. So the splatters, I thought I might go over it um, with some splatters. I might do some splatters on that as well, actually, thinking about it. So I'm just going to go around these edges with my bone folder, actually. And... 
And so I'm going to bring back in my Blackberry Bliss. And uh, do some random splattering. I could have done some real splattering. So that's my layers cut. You know, as I cut too, I cut it too short in the first place, like a proper numpty. So I'm thinking, doing it like that. Got one spare there for going in the inside. So there, I've cut the butterflies out. I've used um, the lovely butterfly wings dies. Wonderful set. So you get you get all these butterflies that cut out individually and then the stamp set that goes with it and you can cut um, the, the whole stamp of the butterflies out as well. So it's great. And you've got these little ones. So I've cut them out as well because I thought they might look quite nice on this one and it kind of covers up the bits where... It didn't stamp so well. I've cut them out for this one as well, in case I want to make a complete total mirror image. And I've tied my bow to sort of decide if I want to chuck a bow on it. So I've also got my Blackberry Bliss blends because butterflies need something on them to um, for their bodies, I always think. So I'm going to... I'm going to stick these down so that we can start sort of building the card up. Okay, so they're stuck down, liking how it's looking. So I just want to give the butterflies a bit of a bit of life. I like the butterflies to be flying. So I'm gonna have one up there. And I'm gonna mirror it. So put that one up there. And then same with these, just I just bend the wings back and then sort of bend it a little bit in the middle. So I'm to be flying in different directions. Who doesn't love a butterfly? Cover any mistake with a butterfly. <laughs> there we go. So. I am not convinced that I need these on this one, but we'll just place them on and decide. I don't quite like, I might move them away from the flower so they're actually on the outside on this one, so they're slightly slightly different then they'll they'll pop up a little bit better and then that's screaming for something there i think so little bow and maybe a little sentiment and i might do a bow there as well so i might might do two bows so i'll just stick these down so now i need the pearls so i'm gonna Gonna see what light blackberry bliss looks like actually first. Might be too light. <laughs> Goodness only knows where that one went. I don't want it that one clearly. That's clearly going no. Yeah, we'll go dark, I think. There we go. So they're already too 
stick on. So I'm gonna think it's safest to use use my putty so I don't lose it like that first one. So that's that. So now let's decide whether or not we need a bow and if we need a sentiment. It does feel like it needs something in those corners. So I thought I'd take the happy birthday, actually, and I thought I'm going to heat emboss white on Blackberry Bliss. I think that might look nice. So I'm going to stick it. Close to the straight because I think I'm going to cut it out. So I'm just going to do the one and then we can like audition it to see if we like it. I do love the big thanks in this set as well, which is actually still attached to my Stamparatus from video I made yesterday which is coming out after this so in that video you'll have me having deciding that I need a new blade and doing nothing about it so you'll have seen me change my blade in this one and then later on you'll see a video because I've still got the old blade on right Embossing. Right, it's not very straight next to the, uh, the whole point was to have it next to that to make it easier. Right, my ball in this with my long scissors. Absolutely rubbish. I think that looks okay. So I'm going to stamp one in Blackberry Bliss on Whisper White as well. Right, so I've cut them out and I was trying to decide which, which I preferred. And I think I like it that way around, but I felt that side needed a little something. Um, I thought the bow's a bit big, so I thought I might do like just a knot. You make like a folk fake bow. So tie like a knot and trim the ends a little bit more, maybe. Just have that on the side. Was my idea? Bow is definitely too big. Do I want another one of them over there? Can't arm, can it? So have I got enough of this to tie? really quite handy if you've got these little off cuts you know when you tie a bow and you cut a little bit off oh you can make these these little ones trim that side a bit
and they do look quite sweet I think so I think that's what I'm going for so a bit of dimensionals on the back of these and, um, and then we're, we're good to go there we go great way to use up these strippy bits Which I'm always using little off edges in videos. I do have full sheets, but they tend to be on my main desk where I sort of design. And so I just left with all the little off cuts next to my filming desk. Hey ho. There. Stick that on. I did think about sort of inking around the edge but didn't need it on that side and so that's where I thought I need a bit of ribbon on that side sort that out so I hope this hasn't been too rambly me making it up as I go along there we go I might trim that down a tad I think it's slightly better smaller. Does it need it? Having now done it, I don't think I need it. Gonna leave it. Another project can have that. And there we have it. That's me. Me two for one. Mirror image cards. So hope you like that. Hope you'll go and uh, click on the links down below to see everybody else i'll also link down below to my shop where you can buy all these things june the 1st we've started a um a, a closeout sale as well because the mini catalog is retiring at the end of this month so many items are 50 percent off so go and grab yourself a few bargains okay see you again soon bye